this summer we have seen scorching hot temperatures, close to 20 days of triple digit heat in fact, and that doesn't include all the days in the high 90s. Add to that the smoke from all the wildfires burning in our area. The heat and the smoke has had an impact on all of us. Now imagine not having a home to go to for relief. A Treasure Valley woman has made it her mission to deliver much needed relief to those on the streets. Maggie O'Mara has her story tonight. Oh, yeah, yeah, you want the yellow one? Oh, come on, and a water? Oh, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I've been doing this for three weeks. Um, it started when I saw that we were going to be having triple digits in the temperature for days on end, and I started coming out here. And I committed to do it every day until I run out of money. Jennifer Jordan has been spending much of her summer in downtown Boise near Rhodes Skate Park. The hottest it's been is 108. She is passionate about helping our homeless survive this scorching hot summer. You're pretty, by the way. Oh, thank you. Thank it you. all started with a post on social media. I first was asking donations for ice, water, and popsicles because I felt like that would be the best place to start for the first week a tremendous response. Um, people were trying to get my phone number, dropping stuff off at my house, oranges, asking if they could come out with me. Um, I ha I've had people tell me, if you run out of money, please let us know. We want to help you some more. So tremendous, tremendous support from the community. Can I give you a hug? Thank you very much. You're welcome. God bless you. God bless you too. So the oranges and the apples that come in, I cut them up and I freeze them. Uh, the money has purchased the ice. I call it my ice fund because ice is not cheap. The other money that has come in that I haven't used for ice, I purchased Gatorades and electrolytes. A lot of the water was donated. Jennifer says what she's been seeing on the streets just keeps her coming back to help. I've seen people passed out on the sidewalks and I've seen people be thankful and grateful for the water and the popsicles and the ice drinks that I brought. But helping out has also been heartbreaking. I saw a man die. I saw a man fall asleep in the sun and become sunburned. And the next day I came back to visit him and the ambulance had picked up all of his belongings and his body. She says the reason she keeps this going is simple. Because I love everybody. I mean, there's so many crazy things going on in the world. If people can hate without knowing you or knowing your religion or where you come from, I can love. You want another one? Good. And I've had a lot of people ask me why I'm doing this and asking me these are insane. These are just people on the street. There's other resources. Well, there's not. It starts with hydration, preventing illness. Um, it starts there and hopefully other resources will see me out here and want to join forces to get some of these folks off the street. Jennifer Jordan. I will do this as long as the community keeps supporting me. Kindness is contagious. Seven zero. For more on how you can help Jennifer and her mission, you can go to this story on our website, ktvb.com.